What is good, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? Welcome back to the Off the Top podcast. My name is Tom. C note, back at you I, again. I didn't mess up the intro this time. Yeah, so we're back good. in the groove. Last yeah. week, I don't think I said the name of the show or <laughs> our names. So we're back. <laughs> and make yep. sure you subscribe to the channel. Let us know how you like the new Zoom setup here, whatever. Not Zoom technically, but let us know how you're liking it. Uh, clips are back up on the socials every day. We got trivia, games. They go live every day on YouTube, Instagram, wherever. So make sure you follow us on all the places. Yes. I'm pretty sure I took the tro- uh, trivia dub last week as well. You did. You did. So maybe you can get a comeback started today. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. that Last week was a heartbreaker for real. <laughs> that was good. We got trivia to start the episode. We got a couple games in the middle. We got a top 10 list that Colin is going to try to guess. I have a list here of the top 10 of blank. Colin's going to try to guess them all. Uh, then we got a couple other topics like people going blind at a board <laughs> ape festival. You heard about that? Uh, yeah, I did. Modern Warfare <laughs> 3. Omega yeah. is officially shut down forever, yep. permanently. And Saw the new AI too. pin that is going to be controlling our lives. So those are a couple of things. So Okay, okay. Ha- have you seen the AI pin thing? I haven't, no. Okay. I've been sending you banger TikToks the last couple of days, so it's probably just been lost. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, TikTok. I hardly check TikTok, and last time I did, there was like <laughs> so many videos <laughs> I had to catch up on. Yeah, you probably have a good twenty in your inbox for me over the last like two days. So there's some yeah, because I was there. signed into the uh, podcast account for yeah. a minute, so you don't so, get the notifications. Yeah, exactly. So well, all right. Well, you want to start off with trivia. Yeah, see if yeah, you can work it. your way back. I'm winning, I guess, so I'm up one zero. So I'll I'll answer first. Give okay, you the, give you the advantage, I guess. That's an advantage. All right, let's start with a uh, off the top classic, I guess you could call it. Which I'm of ready. these artists has the most monthly listeners on Spotify? Okay, okay. all I'm tragically ready. lost their lives semi recently. Okay. All so. of mine are alive. So okay, that's that's good. Good, good balance. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, so we got Juice World. Okay. XXX Tentacion. Okay. Pop Smoke, and Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Which okay, is... I was wondering who the fourth was going to be. I figured it yep. was those three. Yeah. Okay. I mean, X and Juice both stream so well on like streaming platforms. Their numbers are crazy. So I imagine they're both higher than Pop Smoke. Mac Miller probably still pretty high, though, honestly. Legends. Hmm. All of them legends, really. Yeah, I feel like they all kind of float around the 20 to 30 million Spotify monthly listeners. Uh, I'll say that's pretty accurate. Yeah. I really. Hmm. I'm honestly between Juice and X, even though Mac Miller would not surprise me. I just think they have more than Pop Smoke, and Mac Miller hasn't hmm, doesn't stream as well as they do. That's, uh, fair. That's fair. I'm going to go with X. That's my official answer. Well, you started off hot, because that is correct. Boom. Let's go. I was not confident about that. X has 36 million monthly listeners on Spotify. In second okay. place, we got Juice World. So you were right on the money, twenty eight yeah. million. Then we got Pop Smoke and Mac, yeah. respectively, uh, twenty three point four and twenty three point three million. So Mac is technically last, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had the right thought process on that. And so. it's kind of crazy that X has eight million more than the next closest yeah. person, Juice World. So that's so that's crazy. Where we're at. He- he barely has that much music. He has like three projects. I None of them are even that long. He's got hits though. I mean, yeah, they, yeah. That's him and Juice have so many hits that at like a billion streams. I figured it had to be one of them. Yeah. For All sure. right. Well, same question back to you. Guess which artist has the most monthly listeners on Spotify? Okay, we All got right. Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow. Playboy Cardi. Okay. Chris Brown. And the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> the Black Eyed Peas. <sighs> Is this going to be another round where Chris Brown kills me? <laughs> I, I will give you a hint. The Black Eyed Peas are not in last place. <laughs> <laughs> they are not the force. 
But no, they're pretty, not number four. Pretty devious hint right there. Um, yeah. I can go through them again if you want. Nah, I got it. You got Black Eyed Peas, Jack Harlow, the um, Chris Brown, and mm-hmm. who was the last one? Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi. Who's also been <clears throat> your demise multiple times. In yeah, time. so you're trying to really <laughs> so, me up this time. Yeah. Yeah, that mm. was part of the thought process. Jack Harlow just released Semi recently with Jack Man. Yeah. Chris Brown still making music. Ladies love him. Ladies do love him. I think he might have been Grammy nominated <laughs> this year. This year, huh? I believe he was. The Black Eyed Peas is a real curveball right there. <laughs> yeah. Got that was Fergie. The idea. Will Got I Fergie. Am. No one knows the other guy. Yeah, it's just those two. Just um, a guy. Some guy. They entered, they switch him out every week. <laughs> the third yeah. guy. Right, it's always right. a different guy. Remember when it was Joe Biden that one show? That was sick. All right. Um shit. I'll in my mind guess. in my mind it's between Playboy Cardi and Chris Brown. Okay. But it could be the black eyed peas. I don't really even know mm-hmm. like how many people listen to them still, or even if they've like dropped semi recently. I'm assuming they I haven't. Don't. But I don't think so. I'm gonna go Chris Brown as my answer. Ding, ding, ding. All it right, is thank Chris God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I was going to tell you, like, don't overthink it, but I didn't want to just completely. I almost it started it, to. It is Chris Brown at 46.5 right. million monthly listeners. Jesus, yeah. man. Jack Harlow in second, 38.9. Black Eyed Peas in third, 38. And Playboy Cardi, 34.7. Okay. You're trying How to put them the real Black close. Eyed Peas. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, That's crazy, though. 12 million separate. This is there's sure, an 8 sure, million sure. gap from second to first, just like yours. Right, right. But, yeah. Playboy Cardi has to step his game up. The Black yeah. Eyed Peas haven't dropped music in 12 years. That's maybe. Well, that's why I think that's why Playboy Cardi's not a bit higher, is because motherfucker don't drop shit. I mean, yeah, he dropped a whole lot of red not that long ago, though. But, yeah, he does. That was, really what, drop 20... It. When did that 21? come out? I don't even know. 2021? 2022? Possibly. Like that. Possibly, yeah. I don't think it was 2020. Was it that long ago? Maybe. I feel like it might have been, but I'm not sure when it dropped. All right. I'm ready. One to one. Question number two. Let's get it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. This is a new Bar- one. We got a, we got a barn burner. Yeah. <laughs> a one to one barn burner. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So it's a, it's a new question we got here. We got okay. we which artist? Time. Nope. Okay. Which artist? Have all of these artists worked with? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we got Eminem, He's YNW well. Melly, okay, and Michael Jackson. I might know. Okay, let's. I hear might it. know. Eminem, YNW Melly, mm-hmm. Michael Jackson. My mind only goes to one place. Which is what? It's. <laughs> Uh, let me think a little bit more. Okay, who else could have possibly collabed with Michael Jackson? We got three almost completely different artists here. I do think, don't don't give me any hints, but I do think that at one point, Michael Jackson is on a Drake song somewhere out there. But okay. I don't think Drake is the answer. I'm pretty sure it is the man behind Blinding Lights, The Weeknd. <laughs> that was close, but it's not Who true. It? It Who is it? Kanye West Damn, himself. He has Michael Jackson on the song? I yes. did not know that. No, no, no. Michael Jackson has him on a song. Um, oh. Really? Damn. Yeah, it was when a did Michael 2008 Jackson die? remaster. He died in 2009, so the year before. Let me. Look I remember up vividly where I was. Get what it was. I was sitting in a driveway drinking a glass bottle of Sprite, listening to the radio. I'm off my mom's car when I found out Michael Jackson died. Remember? Yeah, that. he was. Uh, Kanye was featured on the 2008 remaster of Billie Jean. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. yep. So. Yeah, got you there. I got you there. I honestly thought I had it with the weekend. I do think yeah. Drake has Michael Jackson on a song at some point throughout. It's it's life. possible other people have share the same. Yeah, three artists, but I guess that's that's not the name of the game. Yeah, 
That's it's not the name of the game. All right, well, I got the same one back at you. All Guess right. which artist has collaborated with all three of these artists. And if okay. you don't get it right, or if you need a hint, I have a fourth artist that I can include on the list that may help. Okay. okay. Number one, Trippy Red. Number two, NBA Youngboy. Number hmm. three, Eminem. Hmm. Eminem Trippy also Red. on my list. NBA young boy, Eminem. Those are the three. The three. So I feel like, said. like mine, there was probably a couple people that have done, held this. There could be. Two that come to my mind are Drake and Lil Wayne. I'm not sure if Lil Wayne has ever done a song with Young Boy or Trippy Red, though. It's not coming to my mind. Um. <laughs> Lil Wayne and Trippy Red do have a song. Okay, well, you're kind of giving it away that it's not Lil Wayne because you would have looked that up. Well, I wanted to give you credit if it was Lil Wayne. That it was right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just wanted to be like, oh shit, is Lil um, Wayne the answer? So I guess I'm going to go with my other gut instinct and say it's. Oh, have NBA Youngboy and Drake done a song together though? Maybe. Hmm. Who else could it possibly be? Because Eminem doesn't do a lot of collabs with a lot of people. That's kind of so why I feel I like, like I'm like trying to Eminem narrow it down in that aspect. A, you don't get an Eminem feature every day like you do a 21 Savage feature. Okay, I'm going to go with Drake. That's my answer. That's not right. It Damn is it. Juice World. Who was uh, the correct answer to your first uh, question? Okay. Yeah. Trippy Red, multiple songs with Juice World, yeah, yeah. NBA Youngboy, Bandit, most notably, yeah. and Eminem, Godzilla, most notably. Damn. Damn. Yeah. So the do fourth Drake, artist I was... Huh? Do Drake and NBA Youngboy have a song together? I was going to say, we can check these ones that we both said to make sure it didn't happen. Like, does The Weeknd have a song with Michael Jackson? Oh, NBA... Maybe. Drake dissed NBA Youngboy on For All the Dogs? I didn't even know that. Maybe. I guess. I mean, The Weeknd and Michael Jackson do not have a song. They have remixes. Oh, I guess NBA Youngboy and Drake have beef, so. That was a bad bad guess on my part, I I guess. So, there you go. You stumped me up. I I should have been thinking Juice World. I don't know. That was stupid. I was going to, the next one I was going to say was Post Malone. But I don't know if that even would have helped you really anyway. Right. Because you yeah. weren't really you weren't really nah. around it. You yeah, were, I was I was pretty far. Pretty far. But off. that was I thought about putting post Malone instead of Eminem because I thought it was too easy. So good thing I didn't. Right. Because, yeah. All right. So again, we, we're still tied up. One one. One one one. It's fourth quarter now. Yep. Comes down to this. I'm Tom right. Brady, you're Matt Ryan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so I'm I have this up. I have four. Kendrick Lamar songs. You have to guess which song did not win a Grammy. Which song did not win a Grammy in general? Yes. Out of four Kendrick Lamar songs. Okay. Yes. So we have The Heart Part 5, Family Ties with Baby Keen, Money Trees, or Humble. Which of those songs did not win a Grammy? Okay. Well, um, the second one, Family Ties. Wait, yeah, Family Ties. That, I think, did win one. Humble definitely won one. What were the other two? Money Trees, OG, Kendrick, and Mm -hmm. The Heart Part 5. I have to submit The Heart Part 5 as my official answer. I'm pretty sure the other three won Grammys. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The Heart Part 5 did win a Grammy. Actually, The Heart Part 5, Family Ties, and Humble all won a Grammy for Best Rap Song. Damn, it so, did? Okay. Money Trees, one of Kendrick's greatest songs, most known songs, did not win a Grammy. So. Damn, I really thought that one did. There you go. All right, All right this is my well, chance. This is your chance. If you get this right, you take the dub today, and we are tied one-to-one in this season of trivia. All right. All right. Which of these rap albums did not win the best rap album Grammy in their respective year? Okay. Following? Yep. Okay, we have 
The Carter Three by Lil Wayne. Okay. 2009. The Blueprint by Jay Z. 2002. Igor by Tyler the Creator. 2020. And Recovery by Eminem. 2011. Mm. Shit. <laughs> Love throwing All recovery. bangers, man. All bangers. Yeah. No, it's, it's on side note. People hate on recovery, but I was I know. Recovery is such recovery. a good album. It really I think is. we talked about this before, but we did. not afraid his ass, but the album as a whole is great. And not afraid. So I know Eminem, um Jay Z and Lil Wayne. Wayne and Tyler. who's the other one? Tyler. Tyler. Eminem. Igor, it's Igor, the Carter yeah, Three, the yeah. Blueprint, and Recovery. I was just forgetting Tyler there, but I yeah. know Eminem, Tyler, and Jay Z usually are pretty critically acclaimed. They usually get good reviews. Yeah. Um, Lil Wayne is kind of a sneaky, he kind of flies under the radar of the Grammys specifically, but yeah. critics in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the Carter Three did not win a Grammy. It did. For best uh, rap album. The one uh, that did not win, The Blueprint by Jay Z. Uh, was nominated damn. in 2002, but did not win. That's crazy. I'm going to look up. I was about to say, what beat it? Best rap album, Grammy 2002. I think it might the be like M- a Nas. It's an Eminem album, The Eminem Show. In 2002? Yeah. Damn. Okay. And I will give you. This going into next week's episode, I will have a question or a top 10. It's not really a list. I have a Grammy related question when it comes to best rap album. So maybe get a little familiar with the best rap album Grammy since 1996 when they started. See, if I would have thought about the Eminem show, I thought that was like 04 released. But I mean, 2002 makes sense. Oh, one. I think oh, well, oh, Blueprint oh, one, is technically oh, one. So yeah. Eminem show might have been somewhere over. around the end of the year. Yeah. But yeah. Obviously, it's not actually. Eminem show is Eminem's best album easily. But yeah, it's it was nominated. Just didn't win. They okay. were all. The right. ones did win, though. Recovery won there. best rap album. Grammy. That did. All right. So we need some sort of tiebreaker here. We need a well, tiebreaker. We can do okay. 20 questions. I have and... a tiebreaker. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I like that as the tiebreaker. I forgot we were going to do that, so that's a better okay. tiebreaker. Whoever yeah, gets the 20 questions right wins the trivia for today. And if we don't get it right, we can move on to the one you were thinking about. Okay, because mine's more <laughs> just like a simple, quick tiebreaker. I like the 20 questions better. Okay, so okay. let me think of a person. Do you want, do you, you want to think of one first? Sure. Um, okay. So basically what we're going to do while Colin thinks of a person He's going to think of a celebrity or a person, any person on earth. And then I have 20 yes or no questions to ask him. And I have to guess the person within 20 questions. Then he's going to do the same. He's going to try to guess mine. Whoever gets it right wins trivia for today. Okay. I have my person in mind. You have a person. Any person on earth. Yes, I have a person. I have banger questions ready. Are you ready for this? I, I I've been think so. Back in the day, right. did you have that little plastic toy that you bought at Walmart? That was the 20 questions. And you could like... Yes. It, yes. Fucking mind-blowing, dude. Yeah. Oh, that toy used yeah. to blow my mind. I used to love playing could, that shit. Yeah. I saw it like trending on TikTok. Like toys that kids don't know of. And that was it. And I was like, damn, yeah. that toy was sick. And so being right. like some random animal or some shit. It works, though. It really can get... Yeah. Guess uh, yeah. It's crazy. All right, you ha- you have a person. I do. Try to keep a tally, maybe, of questions that I'm asking. If you have like a pen and a notepad, or just you can type a number. I mean, I'm like, sitting at a computer, yeah. Yeah, whatever you want to do, just so I don't go over. All right, number one question: All Is right. it a baby? That's a bad question. No, it's not a baby. <laughs> Is it a? Man? Was it a baby at some point? <laughs> yes, it was a baby at some point. Okay, what's a baby? So it's a human being. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's a human. What are you doing? You good? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought your mic like unplugged or something. Okay, not a baby. No, I'm straight. Is it a male? As it in is a male. A man, a boy. Okay. Yes, yes. He was born a male. Is he between the ages of 
30 and 40. No. Wait, so that's he, three questions, right? Yes. You said, is he a baby? Questions. Is he a male? And is he 30 to 40? <laughs> that is three questions. I know. Yes. Okay. okay. Is he under 30? No. Okay. So he's over 40. That's not a question. That's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shit. Uh... Does he make music? No. Is he an actor? No. <laughs> yeah, the look on your face. It's just, it's just is so he? Funny. Is he part? Is he like part of a famous celebrity couple? Mm-hmm. Like AJ Z, is he known for being with his significant other? He okay. I guess he made his significant other famous. Okay, I believe that's seven questions. Yes. Does he play a sport? No. Interesting. Would you describe him as attractive? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. That's interesting. Would I... Is he a YouTuber? No. That's ten questions. Okay, ten questions. Not a YouTuber, not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's not a baby, dude? I'm positive. Um, is he alive today? Yes. Doesn't make music. Doesn't play sports. Doesn't act. What else do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> is it obvious already? No, it's not obvious. No. But it's okay, just, it's funny. Hmm. Is he white? yeah he's white okay interesting Hmm. I gotta think here I'm running out of questions so over 40 interesting I really do we know him personally no no Shit. I gotta go like does he mm, is he on TV and at all? Yeah. Hmm. Does his hmm. is yeah, his questions n- left. Is his name a super common last name like William Smith? Something no, like that. No. He popularized the last name. Okay. Maybe not, like, it's not popular to the point where people took the name or anything, but when you say his last name, there's one person that comes to mind. Him. Interesting. I really don't have any ideas yet, honestly. Five questions remain. Is he a CEO of a major company? Like Fortune 500. Um, possibly. Okay. He, he is known. He was at one point. Let's say that. What company? I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. Are his parents also famous? Because of him. They're rich. I'll say that. You you know that for a fact? Fact. How many questions do I have left? Four. Man, I'm lost. Is he adjacent to food? <laughs> no, no. What else can you be, dog? <laughs> Seriously. Oh my God. Is he video game adjacent? No. I have two questions left. Yep. Does his name start with the letter J? No. I have one question. Uh, Final question. This is question 20. Do I know who this person is? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say... I'm lost, dog. Just no. 
It doesn't start with a J. Shit, that fucking changes. He's not everything. a mute. He does not involve with music. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say. Wow. I'm just trying to think of someone who's not an athlete or a musician or an actor that's famous. Like, what else? I'm going to go with Tom Brady. I have no clue. He's an athlete. I, I know. I literally I can't. I have no idea who it could possibly be. It's not names. Tom Brady. It is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Of course. He yeah, I got you. I got you good on that one. Politics. I got to remember to keep <laughs> yep. politics in my yep. mind. Yep. All right. So if you get this right in 20 questions, you will win the okay. trivia. Okay. Let me, let me think of a guy. Definitely wasted a questionnaire with, is he a baby? <laughs> <laughs> that was more for the content. That was a joke. I thought I had 20 guesses. Oh, it was going to be man. easy peasy. I should have said, does he have red hair? Does he look like an orange? Yeah. <laughs> Is he in politics? Is that he a politician? Would be... yeah. yeah, I would have been. Would've, would've that's helped. what I really needed. Okay, I think I have a guy. I think it'll be a good one. Okay, I don't. Right. I, I got someone. I think you're gonna we'll keep track good. of my my questions. Yep. Okay, I'm not gonna ask if it's a baby. Is it, it is a man a or a woman? <laughs> it is a man. Okay. I, does that count as two questions? I mean, if it wasn't one, it was the other. So, because I'm supposed what? to ask yes or no, and I asked, "Is it a man or a woman?" But uh, it, technically, yeah. it's it's one. Okay, that's, you said a man. I said yes. Okay, no, you didn't. Because I asked, <laughs> "Is it a man <laughs> or a woman?" I said yes. yes. It's a man or a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man. Yeah. Okay. Um, is he in sports? Mm, like, not, is he known for sports? N- no. That's okay. yeah. That's what I was gonna try to clarify. Now is he a music artist? No. Is he an actor? No. Is he a politician? Hmm, no. Not okay. that. It's not gonna be that easy. You've asked is five he, questions. Is he a YouTuber? Uh, yes. Is he a popular YouTuber? Yeah. Maybe not as much as he used to be, but yeah. Okay. I would say he's um, more active on other platforms now, but he's a popular YouTuber, I would say. Okay, is he white? Uh yeah. Okay. White as they come, dog. No, I don't. That Does don't he have over 10 really million good. subs on YouTube? Uh yes. Okay. But it does narrow it down. I feel like you might get there. You're at eight questions. Is it Mr. Beast? It is not Mr. Beast, no. Okay. That does a white count as a YouTuber. Question. Yeah, I know. A white YouTuber. What other questions can I ask? Is he does he make food content? Uh no. Okay, so it's not uh that and you are halfway Sean Evans guy. Who? Sean Evans? Oh no, yeah. it's not Sean Evans, no. Um You could ask if he was bald, but yeah. Do I know him? Uh you know him. That's 11. Do you think I watch him? Mm, yeah. I think if he put out a video, you'd watch it. Okay. Is he gaming like when, adjacent? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Okay. How many questions is that? That's 13. <sighs> he doesn't make music. Um, he's not an athlete. See? It's not a musician. It's athlete, tough. It's yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> like, what else is there? Man? What other white YouTubers are there other than Mr. Beast? Um, You're already way closer than I got. I couldn't even get the realm. Has Mr. Beast made a video with this person? Can I check? Yeah. Because I actually don't know. Maybe. Yes. Yes? Yes. He has made a video with Mr. Beast. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Was he born in America? No. Hmm. 
That was 15. You got five questions. Not born in America. White YouTuber not born in America. Was Made a video in, with Mr. Beast. Was he born in Canada? No. <sighs> what? Not a Nelk boy. I don't I assume that's where you were going. I don't even know where I was going. It was just Okay. But no, not Canada. <sighs> I got five left. Mm, you've asked sixteen, you have four left. Okay. Um <laughs> is he from the Nothing? UK? No. Where do white people come from if it's not American <laughs> Canada or the UK? <laughs> I mean, there's not many um, other options. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't even know, bro. You picked somebody good. Uh over 10 million. I don't I mean they're pretty I know. Popular. How how am I not getting this? Um I know what I would ask if I were you at this point, but out of video I would watch it. He's not gaming adjacent. He's a white guy that wasn't born in America. Yep. Or Canada or the UK. Um, (laughs) Man, I don't even know where else to go. Uh, Does he have... Is he still relevant? No. I'll say no. Is he relevant from our childhood? I wouldn't go back that far. What? This is impossible. I was going to say like Fred or some shit. No. Uh, So I have what, two questions left? Yeah, I'm not going to count that towards a question. Wow. Um... Literally, all I can think about is, is Mr. Beast on YouTube. Um, I mean, you can just use your last two questions as, is it Mr. Beast? Is it Mr. Beast? Twice. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> got to come up with decent questions. I have a, I have an extra tiebreaker. Okay. Do they have a podcast? Yeah. Is he a comedian? Yeah. And I would, that would be 20. You got to make your guess. <sighs> I don't think you got it. I really thought you were gonna get it when we started. You were you dialed in really quick, but give me a YouTuber over ten mil. Take the L. Is it Andrew Schultz? It is David Dobrik. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, I thought you had. I it. totally forgot about David Obrick. <laughs> That's why you said, mind. "Is he relevant?" I was like, yeah. "No, <laughs> not really." Yeah. Kind of fell Damn, off. Damn, bro. Damn, we're still right. tied. Sudden death. Pick, <laughs> pick a musician. Can be pop, rap, whatever. Um, a big, a, bro, like it, you know, someone famous. Nas. Like it. Nas. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull up the Spotify streaming stats. And whoever okay. getting, where does he rank? One to a million. We both guess a number. Whoever's closest wins. Okay, so let's guess now. Okay. Okay. Um, in terms of get, in terms of what total streams? Monthly listeners. Monthly I believe listeners. is what it's ranked by. You're finding this on Corb or whatever. Yeah, I'm not. I don't even have it open yet because I want okay. you to guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna guess two. 101. And whoever's closer? Yeah. I'm going to guess 141. Okay. 141 and 201. I'm going to go to monthly listeners, sort by listeners, and then Command F, Nas. One, nope. That's Nas X. That's little Nas X. Hold up. Oh, God. He's 826. What? I win, I guess. 826, 825 people have more streams. Yeah, I did not expect it to be that high. 
I mean, we can do two out of three if you want, because I feel kind of bad about sure, that. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll name one. Uh, okay. Ice Spice. She can't be higher than Nas. I mean... Monthly listeners? Monthly listeners? Okay, uh, okay. I'm going to guess, like, 35. Yeah, it, she's up there. I right. I was thinking. Yes. I was thinking something different. Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing 35 is my my official guess. Okay, I'm gonna say. Twenty-eight. All right. Let's see. Sort by listeners. Command F. Ice spice is one hundred and forty. Damn. So I I got you there. I got the. Dumb. All right. Yeah, you win. <clears throat> I tried to give you a, a way back in. But yeah, I know. She's also way higher, way further yeah. down than I thought. Both I guess we, we're I too, like, we're too American. There's like a whole world yeah. of Spotify We didn't count the Beatles. Stuff. Yeah, right. the Beatles are definitely in there. Right. Have you played a yes. Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, I just actually started playing it today. It is as, Is it as bad as everyone is saying it is? Why people say it's bad? Yeah. What do they the say? The online about it? that the camp that it's like should have been a DLC, completely lazy, should have been a twenty dollar add on, not worth seventy bucks. Campaign is the worst of all any Call of Duty of all time. Yeah, I heard the campaign uh, criticism, but I mean, if you buy a COD to play a campaign, like I mean, it's yeah. kind of weird. But no, I like it. I think it's good, but it's uh. So with the last one, they kind of took a a bad route in terms of like gaming, I guess, because they really slowed down the game. They made it more like a tactical shooter. What was the last one? Like, MW two. Yeah, and so they okay. So we go back to Warzone and Modern Warfare twenty nineteen. The game was fast, had fast movement. Um, you could like slide cancel and shit and just sprint a lot. So the game yeah. in general was a lot faster. Then they went on to Modern Warfare 2. They nerfed tax sprint, which you know what nerf means, right? They like yeah. mediated. Made it shittier. Yeah. 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 Um, Basically. They nerfed tax sprint. They got rid of slide canceling. Uh, they made the map really big. And it was just, I don't know. I feel like people, a lot of most most COD players want to play like an arcade shooter, yeah, not necessarily yeah. a tactical shooter. So, I or feel they like play if, Battlefield or something else. Yeah, or like Escape from Tarkov or like stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so I feel like they kind of reverted past Modern Warfare Two and kind of went back to Modern Warfare Twenty Nineteen because they're pretty similar games, you know what I mean? But I mean, I've only played it for maybe an hour today. Um, you just got it today. Yeah. When did it come out? A few yesterday. Days ago? Yesterday. Oh, it it just came out yesterday. Yeah. Have so, you, is like is Battle Royale still the main thing though? Well, yeah, they haven't dropped the new Warzone yet. That'll be coming in like late November, early December, probably. Yeah. So it's just the multiplayer right now. But I, I don't just, mind the multiplayer. I like the multiplayer. They uh, The thing I like the most, few things I like the most, is they reverted the movement back to like Modern Warfare 2019 style. So they got, uh, like you can mantle things a lot f faster, like jump over shit a lot faster. You can sprint yeah. a lot faster. You can slide cancel. You can aim down your sights a lot faster. Uh, shit like that. So that all that makes the game a lot better than the last one. On Warfare yeah. 2 because it was just too slow. But um okay, yeah, maybe I'll another thing is the maps. They brought back a lot of the old Yeah, I saw like terminals back and a bunch of the old all maps. the old maps. Yeah, all, literally all of them, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty I like the nostalgia feeling of that. And uh yeah, I don't know. I I heard the campaign was kind of bad, but you Do play you the campaign even... once and you're over with it, so I couldn't even tell you the last Call of Duty campaign I did. I usually just buy and go straight to Battle Royale or multiplayer. That's what I mean. So, like, I saw that criticism. I was like, okay, whatever. It's not going to really yeah. deter me away from it. But no, I think it's a good game, though. Well, I guess next week when you have more hours, then we'll do a rating. 
since you've yeah. only played one hour. But yeah. all right, maybe I do have to get it. I just saw a lot of bad reviews on that. I was like, oh damn, they really dropped the bag on this one. Yeah, I, I disagree. I disagree. I think they dropped right. the bag on the last one, kind of picked it up, yeah. tried to put the pieces back together type deal. 70 bucks, though, is kind of like, ugh. Yeah, it's a lot. And if you buy it on, like, Steam or whatever with your credit card, it comes out to, like, 75, 80, so. Yeah, it's, like, 83. There's some shit. It's, it's like, like yeah, it's, like, it's pretty expensive. So, all right, well, that's that's promising. Maybe I'll have to give it a shot. Yeah, you do. You definitely do. But in terms of, like, the price point and shit, I mean, every game costs that much. Madden, yeah. Starfield. Every just game sucks they keep much, raising man. it, man. They just yeah keep raising it. Well, because like for our whole childhood, they were sixty dollars. Yeah, now they're seventy. Yeah, but now you yeah. buy them online too, so you get like the yeah you get taxed for buying it online for whatever reason. So yeah. All right. Well, uh, I did want to talk about this too, real quick. Um, Omegle officially down forever. It's never coming back. I feel yeah. like that's a net positive for society. <laughs> yeah, no more seeing creepy old dudes fucking dicks just out in the open. Yeah, we used to go on chat roulette when I was a kid, but yeah. then Omegle was like the newer one that everyone went on. So, I mean, I've been on Omegle, but I just feel like nothing good comes from Omegle. Yeah, I guess there you're those cool I mean, videos of rappers who like freestyle and get yeah, or like react. magicians that'll do like yeah, shit like that. online magic shit, but uh. Yeah, There's you're like probably right. Content. I think I agree with you that it's probably a net positive for because bro, chat roulette and shit back in the day was like Yeah. Fucked we should up, not bro. have been allowed on this. It was so it's fucked up. Weird dudes jerking their meat in front of kids, literally. Bro. That was literally what it was. My friend it. My friend uh has a sister that has kids and they're like ten or eleven and she's pretty strict with them. She doesn't let them watch like much porn. really at all well <laughs> not just porn but like porn adjacent things not even that like pretty violence straight. yeah no violent yeah no violence no like swearing or none of that so and i was thinking like when i was 10 and 11 i was literally watching people getting beheaded yeah. and like squishing their balls with a fucking hammer on fucking youtube back in the day i wouldn't so. take it back I'm no, glad I saw all no. Yeah. Like I am. Too. Like one man, one jar. Classic. Mm-hmm. Banger. Yeah. yeah. They, gotta, they gotta bring those back. What's up? No, nah, they can they can nowadays. they can stay in the past, but these pussy ass kids just want to dance on TikTok and do the renegade. Put a jar right. in your ass and bleed all over the floor. <laughs> Make some real content. Yeah, yeah, for real. For real. Kids these days, man. They'll never I know. understand. I know. But I guess right. we could talk about the uh, board ape thing real quick, and then we'll go on to the top ten you got for me or whatever. That's exactly where I was going next. Either board ape or the AI pin. So, board ape held a okay. You know so the board stupid ape, monkey, the monkey, the stupid monkey NFTs. Yeah, so NFTs no. are still destroying people's lives in 2024 almost. Yep, and it's not from buying them anymore. It's from attending events in which they yeah. look at pictures on a screen. So basically, Board Ape held an event where they probably unveiled some new NFTs, or who knows, who knows. I'm I'm not sure the specifics of the event, yeah. but something. They had a big, like, giant screen mm-hmm. with these pictures of Board Ape NFTs. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to show it on the screen here in one sec. Yeah, yeah. You're switched to this. this. There you go. Okay, so I guess I'll just read it a little bit. So Yuga Labs, who is the, like, creator, right, of Board Ape or however you want to say that. Developer, you know, whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Says it's currently investigating reports of an impeded vision skin and eye injuries to be caused by unprotected exposure to UV lights during Ape Fest 2023. So yeah. they somehow... That screen. The screen that's yes. on our screen. Those, that yes. Over there. Somehow the screen in the event was 
so bright or emitting so much UV radiation that people not only got like skin burn, like sunburn from a screen, which is insane. I didn't even think that was possible. You need but those they blue, also, the blue light glasses. They also, some people went temporarily blind. Yeah. Like, look at this tweet. I have a couple blind. tweets on this link that you put in. Anyone else's eyes burning from last night? Woke up at 3 a.m. with extreme pain and ended up in the ER. I saw a couple of reports, but just trying to figure out if there's a common thread. And then this one. So far, 30 hours since woke since I woke up with severe eye burn. I visited emergency hospital and eye clinic and spent there, there spent there a total of six hours. Got diagnosed with photokeratasis over both eyes, accident related which is basically it's called miners eye that's what it's known as fucking miners yeah. used to get that when they well, were working people, in coal like mines. well welder's eye oh no i that, i fucked it welder's up. eye is that it's what you talk about eye. yeah, yeah not because miners. well when you're eye. welding obviously you use an extremely hot flame to melt fucking metal and if you look directly yeah. into it for an extended period of time you'll get eye damage and fucking yeah. burn your eyes but who i mean how long could this event have even lasted? A few hours? You know what I mean? Yeah, like three, four hours. And they got fucking eye burning from the UV screens. And they went blind. For your People kids, went dude. blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is Board Ape up to? They haven't ruined enough lives with fucking just taking people's money and wiping their ass with it or whatever. This is they so bad for them. Money. Dude, it's they probably, insane. They probably needed this to go well so badly. Like, NFTs are obviously down from the last like two years ago when they were the biggest thing on earth. Like I don't even hear anyone talk about them or anything anymore, really. Like on my so, social media feeds, I never see NFTs. Yet. Like they need I mean, when they have a big event, they need to go well. They can't have bad press. They're fucked. Yeah, well, they they were fucked and long before. This, I was gonna say, and I mean, they're but, Nazis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they're Nazis. If so you know, you says, know exactly. Similar symptoms, which include sunburn and waking up to severe burning eye pain. I mean, just imagine that. Imagine waking up and having your eyes feel like they're melting in yeah. your head. Like, what the like fuck? Like you look down all day when all you're doing is trying to admire monkey art. Those symptoms were reported in 2017 as well by partygoers who attended a hype beast event <laughs> okay. at the landmark commercial complex, also in Hong Kong. So Hong Kong is just out here. Their TVs are bad. Melting like a, people's eyes, eyeballs with how, I mean, how bright their TVs are. Uh, what even causes that? I didn't even know UV radiation came through a screen like that. I didn't know either. Honestly, I've never heard of that before, but apparently it must be a thing. I've literally like it's gotta never be heard of it so, in my life. It's got to be so negligible, like commonly negligible, like, you know, if we're sitting here looking at a, a monitor or, you yeah. know, people that watch TV for eight hours a day or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be so negligible that we could sit here for days on end and look at a screen. But and these guys happen. go, yeah, but these guys Literally go to enough. one event in fucking Hong Kong and their eyes melt out of their head. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm hell? in front of my computer eight hours a day. At That's work. what I mean. And then you on ever, the weekend, I'm on my computer more. And then I'm on my you phone when I'm not on my eye, computer. Burning eye pain? Like, what the huh? I mean, my eyes get sore sometimes from staring at my computer all day, but that's because yeah, I don't blink. Sure. That's yeah, not I mean, UV light. Right. That's fucking insane, dude. I have to look that up. What? the? That, Does UV I mean, light come from screens? A, I didn't. I've literally never heard of that in my entire life. Come from computers. LCD and LED screens do not emit any UV. So they must knows? had some kind of specific screen or something. I don't know, I, man. Yeah, I really don't understand it, but there All it I is. Know is they're fucked. Yeah, there it okay. is. Okay. Before the top 10 list, really quick, I want to show you this thing because I just saw it was trending around. They just announced it this week. Here's my screen here. So this is called AI Pin, apparently, by this company, Humane. Okay, Humane's AI Pin. It costs $700. It's a smartphone alternative. You can see it right here on this picture, right there. It's basically like the backside has a magnet on it, so you can like stick it to your clothes and wear it on whatever. But 
So basically, it's uh, it can it has a camera on it. It reads your voice. It has a speaker. It has like all the phone stuff, but it has a large language model, Chat GPT four built in. So you just click the button. You're like, uh, give me directions to whatever, or play this song, or what is that? Like you can ask it any question, have it do anything. Uh, it can take photos, send texts, uses a laser. Oh yeah, that part's crazy too. Do they have a picture of that? Basically, because there's no screen, it's literally just this thing. Like that's all it is. Yeah. So what you do if you want to like have a screen is you hold your hand up and it projects lasers oh, wow. onto your hand, and that's the screen. And then you literally just tap lasers, or you like move your hand to select stuff. That's like, crazy, it's like, man. What it's all, and it has Chad GPT built in. Yeah, and if you didn't know, ChatGPT just recently, like within the last few weeks, got upgraded to where it's able to search the internet now. Because yeah. when we first started talking about it, it was limited to like 2018 or something. So if you asked yeah. it like something relevant to the current day, it would just it wouldn't know what you were talking about. So yeah, it would literally just tell you, I can't go back that far. But the AI pin goes on sale in five days on November 16th. It's six hundred ninety nine dollars, and then twenty four dollars a month for unlimited calling, texting, and data through T Mobile. They revealed okay, so... the device's look and basic functions, including web search, object identification. Like you can just say, "Hey, what is this?" And you're just holding something. It tells you what it is. You can ask it any question. It does. It's literally just Chad GPT attached to you that has That's... a camera on. It's good for people that like don't need a lot of privacy within their life. You know what I mean? Cause a lot of like, if you have to have a text read back to you through a speaker, yeah. everybody in the room is going to hear your whole conversation. This so like, I guess not, that's this one. This might not make any sense, but they showed oh, this, but I guess they were put a screen on your hand. So maybe not when they were presenting it, they showed this graphic and it was like, they showed a bubble, like a sphere, like a literally a sphere. And they called it like a sound sphere. And there's some yeah. setting where it plays and all the audio just like floats here and it doesn't like go to other. So other people can't hear you. I like, can't hear it. Oh, you can hit a button and then it plays out loud. But there's like two audio settings one that only you can hear and one that other people can hear. <laughs> is that, that even, was like a, is that logical? I did not know that was the thing. I think they called it like an audio bubble or a sound bubble. That's interesting. So, like, if you have it strapped to your shirt here, it just plays, like, you can only hear the audio in the sphere right in here. I yeah, don't know how that's yeah. a thing, but, yeah, it comes so, out in five days, so next week you can buy one for 700 bucks. Did you watch Tenet? Uh, no, I haven't yet, no. Oh, my God, bro. Your mind will oh, be Oh, that's blown. the Will Smith movie where no, he looks no, young. No, 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 Oh, wait, what? Tenet oh, is with, um, who's in it? Denzel? No. It's the guy from uh, The Creator, the new movie. Robert Pattinson's in it. Robert Pattinson is in it. Is it new? Um, no, 20. No, no. So what's it about? But, Tell me. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Well, it's, a it's, mind, it's like one of the mind-bending movies. It's yeah, about... I can like, rent it for four bucks and watch it. You should. It's about like time travel and like theories of time travel and shit. And okay. It, Christopher Nolan is such an amazing director that yeah. this shit is actually based off like real like theories backed by yeah. actual scientists and shit. And there's this thing called the Satter Square or the Sator Square that mm -hmm. is, you know what a palindrome is? Mm -hmm. It's like when you can read something the same forward and backward. Race so, car. exactly. So, mm -hmm. There's this Bob. thing called the Saturn Square. Yeah, Bob. Um, Tit. It's, an, it's an ancient palindrome, mm -hmm. like ancient perfect five by five palindrome square that was mm -hmm. used a lot in like ancient religions and ancient times and shit. And even religions like Christianity reference it and use it to their own. Yeah. The earliest one was found in like, I don't know, like 50 BC or some shit in, uh, Pompeii, Italy. So he references that a lot in the movie. Like that's one thing that's big in the movie. And yeah, bro, it's it's crazy. You gotta check. One it out of ten. Probably, dude, a ten. It's up there. 
It's like a perfect movie. Yeah, I, I genuinely think it's a perfect movie. I might watch if not tonight. I'm watching it tomorrow, so I will watch it before we shoot we, next, and then we'll be talk about it more. Me and Gabby, my roommate, have been watching uh, a lot of like just mind bending movies and shit. Have you seen uh, Predestination? I don't think so. That's the one with uh, I forget his name. Let me know the main actor's name. Ethan Hawke. Yes, Ethan Hawke. It's a it's based on like similar theories about time travel and shit. So yeah, check that one out too. But we also watched Interstellar a couple weeks ago. Obviously, yeah. you've seen that. Another great. I watched movie. it with you. Yeah, that's again my one movie of all kind time. of about time travel again. Yeah. So like all these it another may be Christopher corny, Nolan but that's movie my too. favorite movie. Interstellar. No, that's a great. Movie. It's a great movie. But after it's, I watched Tenet, I was so like, good. I think Tenet's slightly better than Interstellar. Like I really? would, yeah, I would say Interstellar is like a nine point seven. Ten, it's like a true ten. All right, well, it's crazy. Well, I'm gonna watch it before we shoot next, and we'll see. Yeah, check it out. Better man. than Interstellar is tough. It's but tough, it is two, man. It, it, I see ten, it's two hours thirty minutes. That's a good sign. You can't have a really great movie that's like ninety minutes. It's just not no. enough time. Yeah, it's just so. it's just not. And that's the thing with Christopher Nolan, man. He's so smart that he yeah. takes real life theories and turns them you, into like crazy mind bending movies. Have you seen Oppenheimer yet? Yeah, have you? Okay, yeah, I saw it in theater. Yeah. Would you? Think I just wanted it? to make sure. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was great, dude. Yeah, me too. I just wanted to make sure. I wasn't. I couldn't remember if you saw it, but yeah. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna watch Tenet this week, and then I'll let yeah. you know. Yeah, check but it out. Before we get out of here. Make sure okay. you subscribe if you made it this far and you're not subscribed. That's fucking dumb. Subscribe. New episodes every week. We put out videos every day. So I have two top ten lists. Okay. I'm going to let Colin decide which he wants to go before. Maybe hard. I don't know. We're This is the first time we're trying a top ten list, so we'll kind of gauge how this goes. But you can either guess the top ten Xbox 360 games of all time or the mm. top ten Xbox One games of all time. Hmm. You want a little nostalgia? You want recency? I don't know hmm. which one would be easier, which one would be harder, but Xbox 360 or Xbox One, I had the top 10 games of all time. Selling games? By Ranker. Just so just, just, <laughs> wow. just taking somebody's <laughs> word for it, I guess. Yeah. Um. Sometimes I'll do IGN. Sometimes I'll do Ranker. We'll just pick a list. Sometimes we'll do Rolling Stone if it's a music list. Who knows? Maybe we'll do IMDb for movie lists like this. So top 10 list is endless, so let us know what top 10 list you want us to try to get. Let's go Xbox One. Okay. I'll save Xbox 360 for another time, maybe okay. next week. So I need you to guess the top 10 Xbox One games of all time, according to this random website. All right. <laughs> no, <Ready>? no revenue. <laughs> yeah. No right. actual <laughs> basis, in fact, or anything. Just, yeah, just, a, just a guy. All right. Just some temp's opinion. On games. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna right. go. Xbox I'm gonna start count. off with. I'm gonna no start off with no strike count. Just fire away. Okay. I'm gonna start off with GTA Five. GTA Five is number two on the list. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to clean sweep here if I can. You gotta right, be let's go with Red Dead Redemption Two. Number one on the list. Okay. Let's go number with Minecraft. Minecraft number nine on the list. Okay. Let's go hmm. three in a row. Heating up. You're actually on oh, fire right now. Modern Warfare 2019. That is not on the list. There is no okay. Call of Duty. Okay. How about Fortnite? Fortnite, not on the list. Okay. How about Skyrim? Um, We have the Elder Scroll V. I believe that is just Skyrim, right? Yeah, that's Skyrim, yep. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Skyrim. Let's go. Yeah, four out of ten. Are there any battle royals on there at all? Um no. No battle royals. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only game the last three years has <laughs> consisted of not on the list. Not even like seven years at this point. Um, pre-COVID. 
start to start listing some games. Halo. No Halo. Um. There's no GTAs. You got the one. Oh right, right, right. GTA. There's five. three of them I've never heard of. Okay. One of them. One of them is Elon Musk's favorite game. Elon Musk's favorite game is Fallout on there. Uh, no. Is Forza on there? No. Is Elon Musk tweeted about this game specifically? Gave it high prices. Is it recently released? Yep. Starfield? Nope. Not that recent. Um. Considered the hardest game of all time. Oh, um, Demon or Dark Souls? No. Um. People like pe- there was a game that like people were like streaming this game until I beat it. Yeah. Ludwig did it, I know specifically. It's got to be like a Dark Souls adjacent type game, but I can't think of the name. Yeah, probably. You want me to give you any of these? Um, There's a few more that I think are gettable, at least two. What does Elon Musk's favorite game start with? Like what letter? E. Elder, Elder Ring. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. There you go. That's number <laughs> yeah. four. That's like Dark Souls That's, adjacent. Yeah. Um, That's Elden right behind Ring. Skyrim. So what, I got f- four? You have five left. One of them is like part of a super popular video game franchise, not Call of Duty, but one that's also very popular. Is they have lots like of games. Mario? Is, it, no. is there any Nintendo games on there? No. Okay. Is there any like superhero games on there? Maybe. If you consider a werewolf a superhero. Oh. Werewolf? Is X X Men? Wolfenstein, werewolf? the new oh, order oh, 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 is on that's, here. It's not about a werewolf. It's about <laughs> I don't know. It's about I've Nazis. never heard of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're superheroes, right? <laughs> Super, Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> now I love I love Nazis. Dog. They're stop, superheroes. Stop, stop. Okay, you um, still got two more. I think are gettable. At least, at least one that's gettable. Okay, let me get some hints. It's part of a very popular franchise that puts out a game like every year. Oh, imagine. No. Is it a sports a, game? No. It's like pirate based. Oh. Pirate based. I assume so. Assassin's pirate Creed based. 4, Black. Oh, Black. okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's at number okay. five. Number six, you have Far Cry 6. Okay. Number seven, you have Life is Strange, Full Colors. Okay. Yeah. Don't know that. And then number 10, Metro Exodus. Okay. Those are the top 10 Xbox One games of all time. I think I did kind of decently. You did about what I thought you you did. No, you're going to have a list for me next week. Okay, bet. So prepare a list. I would recommend that you type them out, 1 through 10, in like your notes, because that's what I did, because it was hard to keep scrolling back and forth through the actual list. So I would type them, maybe. Whatever you find easier. But yeah, next week, Colin's going to have a list for me. I'm going to do the guessing. If there's anything specific you want us to guess, throw it in the comments. And we'll see it before we record next. So, yeah. All right. Uh, anything else before we're out of here? No, nah, I don't think so. Subscribe to the channel, guys and girls, of course. We love you very much. We'll be back next week. The episodes are back. Yeah. Leave reviews, leave comments, show love. We love you very much. Amen to that, man. All right. Well, that'll do it. We'll see you next week. All right. Deuces. Deuces. It's off the top podcast, got you laughing like you hit the gas pack. Show is crazy like you watching Mad Max. Every other podcast is mad whack. Off the top podcast.